Hello and welcome back everyone. It's been a while since the last video uploaded on the channel, but I will try to increase the pace and put out more videos from now on. Either way, today we will explore the myths and legends surrounding a fabulous bird originating from Persian mythology and folklore, the legendary Simorg. The Simorg shares many similarities with the Phoenix, another legendary creature that we already covered in a previous video. It was described as a beautiful bird looking much like a peacock or a pheasant in shape, with marvelous feathers that were known and highly prized for their healing properties. Sometimes the Simorg was also represented as an immense creature that had a bright plumage and massive lion claws that could carry off elephants and whales with ease. At the time, it was said that this fabulous bird lived in the Albors, a range of mountains which was situated around the northern parts of the Persian Kingdom. It was said that this creature was so old that it witnessed the destruction and the creation of the universe three times over, and that gave her the wisdom and knowledge of all ages. After living for such a long period of time and learning more about the world and its people, the Simorg eventually understood life itself and its endless cycle. Other legends credit the fabulous bird with a lifespan of about 1700 years old. When it reached the end of that lifespan, it consumed itself in bright flames, just like the phoenix, before being reborn from the ashes. Myths and legends about the Simorg were present in most periods of Persian history, whether it be in art or literature. In fact, in a very well-known classic of Sufi literature written by the poet Farid al-Din Attar and titled The Conference of the Birds, the Simorg makes an apparition as the leader of all the birds in the world. Basically, to make it short, in the poem, the birds of the world gathered one day to decide who will be their leader, since they didn't have any. The hoopoe, who was considered as the wisest of them all, led them to a feather trod by the legendary Simorg, and they all decided to follow it. After traveling through seven valleys, the Valley of Quest, the Valley of Love, the Valley of Knowledge, of Detachment, of Unity, of Wonderment, and finally the Valley of Poverty and Annihilation. After going through all of them and overcoming hundreds of difficulties and painful trials, 30 birds arrived at the Simorg's dwelling place. In the end, the birds realized that the concept of individual identity did not exist, for they were the Simorg, and the Simorg was them. The Simorg also appeared here and there in other legends, most notably in the Shaname, the Book of Kings, an epic poem written by Ferdowsi, one of the most influential poets in Persian literature. In the story, the legendary Iranian king, Zal, was abandoned by his father as an infant because he was born with white hair. His father believed that his son was a spawn of devils, and he left him in the Albor's mountain range. It was the Simorg who took the baby and brought him to her nest, where she nursed him. Eventually, Zal grew up to be a fine and powerful young man. When his father, the king, saw what had become of the son he abandoned, he immediately regretted everything he had done. In the end, when the Simorg knew that the time was right, she let the young man she nursed for so long reunite with his father. Today, the legend of the Simorg is still present in certain aspects of our modern world. The creature is the central figure of the coats of arms of Uzbekistan, and is also represented on the flag of the Tat people an Iranian ethnic group spread out and living within Georgia, Russia, and Azerbaijan. So this concludes today's video on the Simorg. Thanks everyone for watching and hopefully you enjoyed it. If that's the case, please make sure to share the video and to subscribe to the channel for even more myths and legends. Now then, thanks again and see you all very soon for a new video.